Hello everyone, welcome to my video. My name is Max and today what I'd like to go over is uh, how to use um, a bootable USB that has Linux Mint installed on it. So some of you may ask why use a bootable um, USB as opposed to other methods and the main reason why I like to use bootable uh, USBs is to install Linux Mint on it um, so that I can kind of test it, right? Um, you can test Linux on in several different environments. You can test it as a virtual machine. Um, you can even test it on Windows uh, in a, uh, in, by downloading it from the Windows Store or the Microsoft Store and, and putting it in as a sub uh, system. But I like it as a uh, bootable USB because then I can go through the live system or if there was another system on my hard drive like Windows or another operating system, I can use this bootable um, USB and I can go through any of those systems without touching anything on the actual computer or on the original computer. In other words, if originally this computer came with Windows, then I can go ahead and boot off the, of the USB and play around with Linux without going and touching or messing with Windows. I like that. Another thing that I can do with a bootable USB, uh, if I have Linux Mint on it, and that's the version I have today, another thing that I can do with it is I can format a hard drive. I buy, I get hard drives from different places, eBay, what have you, and a lot of times when I get it and I put it on my system, I want to go ahead and erase everything off of there. So I'll use um, a bootable USB and I'll put Linux Mint on there. So let me go ahead and show you how I format a hard drive. So what I do is I open up a command line or a terminal. Um, a good way of doing that is over here on the bottom left hand side you can see right here there's a terminal you can open it up there or on your keyboard you can just do the let's see control alt and L or no I'm sorry control alt T and that'll bring up the uh, terminal but since I already have one open here let's go ahead and open that up Hopefully that's big enough for everybody to see. So the first thing we want to do before we can um, delete the or re, uh, format the hard drive is that we're going to need um, uh, root writes. And the way I do that is is I do a sudo and I run this command, and then you go p a s s w d to change the password or give it a password. And then we're going to put in the username root, which is the all the the ultimate uh, user. That's the user that has full rights over the computer. It's like the Windows admin or administrator. And so we run this command, press enter, and then we put in a new password for the root. Then it's going to ask you to confirm that password. and then it'll tell you whether or not it was successful mine is successful and then we're going to go ahead and log in with the root uh, username and we're just going to run su for super user hit space and then the minus and then press enter it's going to ask you for the password this will be the root password that it needs and then now we are root and to confirm whether or not we are root, we just type in who am I. Press enter, and it tells you right there it's root. All right, so, so then we go ahead and let's go ahead and clear the screen. There's two ways of clearing the screen. You can type in C-L-E-A-R and press enter. That will clear the screen. The other way to clear the screen is on your keyboard. If you press the control button and the letter L as in light, that will also clear the screen. Alright, and just so you guys know, 
what type of, um, uh, this is an actual um, uh, system that I have this live um, USB on uh, for Linux Mint. And just so you can see, we can type in the command Neo Fetch and then press enter. And so then you can see that this is Linux Mint 20.3, and I have it installed on my Dell Latitude 5400, right? All right, and so moving on, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna locate the hard drive that we wanna format. And so one of the easiest ways that I find to do that is running the command LSBLK, which stands for Lick List blocks on this uh, on this system and then we just press enter and then as you can see there are two hard drives this one right here is the thumb drive and this is what the live US or this is what the USB bootable system is all right and that has my Linux on it and then here's the actual internal hard drive and you can notice, you can tell that because the size, uh, because of the sizes. Uh, this is the original hard drive, or the hard drive that I installed on this system, is 238 gigs. And as I said, this is my bootable USB. So what we want to do is we want to go. Now that we've located the um, the hard drive that we want to format, which is this one right here with this name, NVMe. 0 in 1 we want to run the command and the command is the command requires root uh, access so it's going to be the DD command so it's going to be DD space and then we're going to do this command which is for out our input file and then we're going to uh, hit dev and then you random that's going to uh, put random um, zeros and ones on the hard drive. And then we want to do an out output file. And then dev for device again. And then we want to go ahead and type in the actual hard drive. Or at least what the, what the, uh, what the system sees, recognizes the hard drive as. And then after we do that, we want to uh, tell it and how many block sizes we want to uh, we want it to go over the um, the formatting. That's just going to be s equals and then one and a large m for megabytes, one megabyte blocks at a time. Once you do that, you press enter and it'll go through and it'll start formatting the hard drive. Once your hard drive has been formatted. It'll go ahead and tell you it's been completed. And then from there, you can go ahead and reinstall whatever operating system you want. So that was just a little uh, tutorial on how to format your hard drive with uh, Linux Mint uh, Live USB or bootable USB. Thank you very much. I appreciate you looking at my video. Um, this video will be put up on YouTube and in Facebook, so when you get a chance, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. You guys have a good day.